Council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Well, I hope they do something. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Yeah, that was bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. You came back like you said you would. Did you find me a home? I hope you found me a place to live. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. I'm dying. I'm I don't like the look of this place. I shall wait here until you return for me. Deep water.
Good to see you. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Well, she's got nothing to do with anything except ruining my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit... inhospitable. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate a321 recall code violet and that will activate the hidden subroutines ha <laughs> why do you think i wanted to crack open that commonwealth can opener to see what was inside there's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going! Ah, sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. 
For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck, about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. And how? I am the only one in all of the wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform facial reconstruction, you know. Look, you're different from all those other jerk-offs, so I'll make you a deal. You want a little nip-tuck here and there? I'll do it for you. I'll get to hone my skill, and you'll get the best surgeon around. The likelihood of death by infection at my hands is only... Mm, 35%, let's say. So, what do you want to look like? Give me a shout if you need anything else. Don't let your guard down. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth, but I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have.
Hello. You return. Shall I join you once again? As you command. 
and I shall follow. Can you help me? I need water. Purified water, please. You... I... I... I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you. You... I... I... Want something? He is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf. Children of the earth, come forth to gather. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. I'll bet they used some sort of chemical device to drive off the Meyer Lurks. 
or a sonic device. Hmm. Anyway, I guess it worked pretty well. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Uh, speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So what'll it be? Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? Books are where the old world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Great! The library should be in Old Arlington, not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of information could help the book, and thus, humanity. If you Sure thing. Good hunting. Take care. It's a big wasteland. Yes? I wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this.
Need some help with this one. Oh! I'm alive! I can't believe it, I'm alive! Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Anyone who can hear me. This is a high. Greetings to the oppressed masses from the peace-loving peoples of China. Why do you continue to send your boys to die for your capitalist masters? The gang of Wall Street fat cats and their Washington warmonger puppets have plunged the world into war to line their own... being waged by the Wall Street Gang. Why do you continue to send your boys to die for your countless masters? Do you think your readers will keep you safe if the bombs fall? You will die while the Wall Street Gang and their hangers-on live like kings and... In... 